Hello Year 5 and welcome to your RE lesson. Today is going to be our last um, RE lesson where we're learning about Sikhism and next week will be our end of unit quiz. So if you would like to revise for the quiz, I suggest you go back and watch some of the videos. Um, I know not all of them are in the playlist or have a look back through your work you've done um, on Teams or the work you sent in just to remind yourself about Sikhism so that you get the best um, result you can on the end of unit test. It's not like a proper proper test, it's just for us to see how well you can remember the things we've learned and what you know about Sikhism now the unit is over. So that'll be next week. So you could do some revision, you could have a look at Sikhism on bite size and um, just to remind yourselves of the things that we've learned. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so today we are learning about the Sikh practice of Siwa. I know what Siwa is and why it's important to Sikhs. I know what the three different aspects of Siwa are. I'm sure why these have got question marks. And I can identify ways in which they could perform good deeds to help others. Okay, here is our just checking. There are four questions that I'd like you to answer. What is the Langa? We learned about that last week. Who was the first guru? What name is given to every girl baby? And what is their holy book called? So the Langa is a place for Sikhs to feed the community. The first guru was Guru Nanak. The name given to every baby girl is Kur, and their holy book is called the Guru Granth Sahib. This is for tick, hopefully you got those correct. And today, we are going to be looking at Siwa and what that means. So what can you remember about the Sikh tradition of the Langa? I think we did just do this and I'll just check in. So the Langa is a communal kitchen where Sikhs prepare um, and serve free food for everyone. Rather than seeing this as a chore, Sikhs consider it an honour to serve people in this way. Sikhism teaches that people should think less about themselves and more about others and be prepared to give up their time, talents and energy to help other people, which is a lovely thing. Take a moment to think about the last time you helped someone in some way. Who did you help? So it might have been a sibling, a friend at school, it could have been um, a teacher or a parent or a grandparent or a carer. What did you do? Did you wash the dishes? Did you help someone cross the road? Did you help your little sibling learn something new? Did you play with them? Why did you help them? Did you do it to make yourself feel better or did you do it to, um, because you thought it'd be a kind thing to do? Did you do it so that they would give you something in return? Why did you do it? And how did it make you feel? Did it make you feel good about yourself? In Sikhism, the act of helping someone through selfless service is called Siwa. Siwa is any act of kindness shown or help given to someone else without expecting rewards or anything in return. Do you think your last act of helping someone could be considered Siwa or selfless service and why? Or do you think the last thing you did was selfless? There are three different parts of Siwa, Tan, Man and Dan. Tan is a physical service, for example, making food in the langa or helping clean the gurdwara, so doing your chores, helping people. The man is a mental service, maybe studying a holy book or teaching people. And the dan is a material service, giving money to charity or helping people in need. Which part of the siwa would the act you were thinking of come under? If you were helping with chores, it would be a physical service. If you were teaching a sibling, it would be a, um, a mental service. Or well, have you given money to somebody to help them? If you are using Teams, there will be um, three columns like this. And I'd like you to think of any other examples that could go in these. So what things would be physical help? What things would be mental and what things would um, be material. So it doesn't have to be things that you've helped with, it could be things that you've seen other people help with um, and what could you put in these three columns to show me examples of ways that um, you have helped or other people have helped or just any examples of the three different parts of SEMA. If you do not have Teams please just draw the column out and then send it on the email. If you do have Teams the assignment will be up and ready for you. Keep Make sure you keep revising for the um, end of the unit quiz next week and I will see you all soon. Bye.